Chemical Bonding 1, the Lewis Model. In this tutorial, we will focus on ionic bonding, representing an ionic bond with Lewis symbols, the ionic crystal lattice, lattice energy defined, and trends in lattice energy. Ionic bonding. Ionic bonding involves the transfer of valence electrons from a metal atom to a nonmetal atom resulting in ions of opposite charge. The strong electrostatic force that exists between positive metal ions and negative nonmetal ions forms the ionic bond. The cations and anions in an ionic crystal are arranged in a systematic, periodic 3D array that maximizes the attractive forces among cations and anions while minimizing repulsive forces, representing an ionic bond with Lewis symbols. Example, sodium and chlorine. The electron configuration of the sodium atom is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. The electron configuration of the sodium ion is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Notice the difference between the atom and the ion is the removal of the 3s1 valence electron. In contrast, the electron configuration of the chlorine atom is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. The electron configuration of the chlorine ion is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6 where the ion has gained one more valence electron than the atom. The charge on the sodium ion is plus one, while the charge on the chlorine ion is negative one. The Lewis symbol for the sodium ion would just be Na with an overall charge of plus one, while the Lewis symbol for the chlorine ion would be Cl with seven valence electrons, original, to the chlorine atom plus one more additional valence electron, which will give this an overall charge of negative one. Representing an ionic bond with Lewis symbols. Using Lewis symbols to represent a sodium chloride formula unit. We know that sodium has 11 protons and 11 electrons. So sodium represented with Lewis symbols would be Na with one dot. Chlorine on the other hand, has 17 electrons and 17 protons, so Cl with seven valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When forming this ionic bond, the sodium atom is going to give up its one valence electrons and donate it to the chlorine atom. As a result, the sodium atom becomes a sodium ion with a charge of Na plus one, the chlorine atom gains that one valence electron, becomes a chlorine ion, so Cl, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The additional valence electron from the sodium brackets, and this will have an overall charge of minus one. So we can see this positive negative force of attraction, this electrostatic force of attraction between the cation and the anion. The ionic crystal lattice. NaCl forms a very regular structure in which each sodium ion is surrounded by six chlorine ions. Each chlorine ion is surrounded by six sodium ions. The sodium and chloride ions are packed as closely as possible together. So in this simulation, we initially see this positive purple symbol, which is representing our sodium ion, surrounded by four chloride ions, one on each side. Since this is a three-dimensional representation, this would also have a chloride ion in front and behind the sodium ion. In the same way, this chloride ion, with an overall charge of minus one, has four sodium ions surrounding it, one on each side, and then one sodium ion in the front and one sodium ion behind. The ionic crystal lattice structure accounts for the common physical properties associated with ionic compounds, such as 
not being malleable nor ductile. In other words, you cannot pound it into a thin sheet or draw it out into a wire. Ionic compounds are typically brittle. The ionic crystal lattice structure will cleave when the structure is disrupted. In other words, if you smash it with a hammer, it is going to break into a multitude of tiny bits. Have a relatively high melting point temperature. Ionic substances can only conduct electricity as liquid or molten or dissolved in water to form an aqueous solution. Lattice energy. Lattice energy is the energy associated with the formation of a crystalline lattice from individual gaseous ions. When positive and negative ions come together to form a crystal lattice, the overall potential energy of the system decreases. Crystal lattice formation is an exothermic process as the system releases energy to the surroundings in the form of heat. The equation showing the gaseous ions forming a solid is represented here. And the overall amount of energy released known as the lattice energy for sodium chloride is negative 788 kilojoules per mole. This exact value of lattice energy, however, is not simple to determine because it involves a large number of interactions among many charged particles in the lattice. The most straightforward to figure out lattice energy is with something known as the Born-Haber cycle, which we will talk about in length during class. So this particular equation represents a part of the Born-Haber cycle. When positive and negative ions in a crystal lattice are pulled apart to form individual gaseous ions, energy is absorbed by the system from the surroundings. As a result, the potential energy of the system increases. The process of separating an ionic solid into gaseous ions is highly endothermic, resulting in the formation of highly unstable gaseous ions. So going from NaCl solid to forming sodium ions and chlorine ions requires a large amount of energy to overcome the forces of attraction between these ions. The strength of interactions between cations and anions can be understood in terms of Coulomb's law. The lattice energy is proportional to the charge on each ion. Larger ion charges create stronger Coulombic attractive forces between oppositely charged ions. The lattice energy increases as the distance between the centers of the ions, their nuclei, decreases. Ions with smaller radii result in stronger Coulombic attractive forces. Explain the following trends in lattice energy. Calcium sulfide has a greater lattice energy than potassium chloride. Before we look at how we would explain this trend, let's look at the location of each of the ions in each of these compounds. So calcium is located here in period three. Sulfur is located here in period two. While potassium is located in period three, right next to the calcium, and the chlorine is located in period two, directly next to the sulfur. So if you were to compose an answer, your answer should look like the following. According to Coulomb's law, a strong force of attraction between ions increases as the distance between the ions decreases and the charges on the ions increases. The most important factor in determining the strength of the bond between ions is an increase in ionic charge. The difference between Ca plus two and S minus two in comparison of K plus one and Cl minus one shows that the force of attraction between ions in CAS is greater than in KCl. The ions and cations are found in the same periods, so there is a minimal difference in distance. 
CAS will have the higher lattice energy. Let's look at our next example. Explain the following trends in lattice energy. Lithium fluoride has a greater lattice energy than cesium bromide. First, let's look at the general location of where Li and F are located. So lithium would be located in period two, while fluorine would also be located in general in period two, while cesium would be located in period six, and bromine would be located in period four. Now let's examine the statement that helps to explain this trend. This scenario is based on the distance between cations and anions. The cations and the anions all have the same charges. LiF will have a greater force of attraction between the ions and therefore highest lattice energy as the distance between Li and F is smaller than the distance between Cs and Br. Let's look at our next example. MgO has a greater lattice energy than MgS. Mg is located in period three, while oxygen is located in period two, and sulfur is located in period three. Let's look at the statement that helps to explain this trend. This scenario is similar to the previous slide as it is, again, based on the distance between the cations and the anions. In this example, the compounds have the same cation. There is a smaller distance between Mg plus two and O minus two, as the ionic radius for oxygen will be smaller than the ionic radius for sulfur, than Mg plus two and S minus two. Therefore, MgO will have a greater force of attraction between the ions and the highest lattice energy. Which substance would you expect to have the greatest lattice energy? AgCl, CuO, or CrN? If we look at the general location of these elements, Ag is located here and Cl is located here. So there's one period separating these two elements. Cu is here and oxygen is located up here. So again, there's about one period that separates these two. And then Cr is here and is here. So again, we see that one period is also separating these two elements. Because the distance is relatively similar between these cation and anion pairs, the next thing that we should be looking at is charges. So the charge in AgCl is Ag plus one and Cl minus one. The charges in CuO are Cu plus two and O minus two. And the charges in CrN is Cr plus three and N minus three. So we're definitely seeing a pattern here. Let's look at the statement that explains the answer. This scenario is based on ionic charge as the distance between cations and anions are all relatively similar. The most important factor in determining the strength of the bond between ions is an increase in ionic charge. CRN has the largest difference in charge between the cation and the anion and therefore the greatest force of attraction between the ions and the highest lattice energy. So what did you learn in this tutorial? We talked a little bit about ionic bonding. We went over a review of representing an ionic bond with Lewis symbols. We discussed the ionic crystal lattice, lattice energy defined, and trends in lattice energy. Need more help? Feel free to contact me. Have a great day.